We've just been driving up the road from the Beaumont Bridge to Miller's Flat, back road, uh, which is quite durable in two-wheel drive at the moment. Just be wary, there are, the gorse is getting quite overgrown, so um, you don't want to scratch your vehicle. Don't do it. Um, we just stopped at the Lonely Graves Reserve, just on the side of the road. I'll take you in here and uh, show you a wee bit. Here lies somebody's darling, buried in 1865, and beside him, here lies the body of William Rigney, the man who buried somebody's darling. So apparently somebody's darling uh, was washed up on the river here, and the guy who said he buried him didn't actually find him, someone else did. <laughs> Um, they think it could be Charles Ames, a butcher from the Nevis Valley, who drowned on the river in Clyde. Um, so he's obviously got washed down here. Anyway, it's a good story. Uh, we're just going to continue back up the road now to Miller's Flat. It's not too far from here. Uh, the Clutha Gold Cycle Trail follows this road most of the way as well. Got a nice sweet alley down here. Uh, we're just on our way back to um, the campground at the Roxburgh Trotting Club and we passed a relic from the, I guess, the steam train days here. It was last used in 1968, so a water tank, that's, they've sort of restored it. Um, and Serena's also doing a geocache, which is here. <laughs> Geocaching does sometimes take you to some interesting places. Here's our water tank. It's like they've got a spiky device to stop people climbing up there as well. But yeah, please keep off. <laughs> G'day mate. Horse off for a wee trot there. <laughs> this is our base for the weekend. Just a weekend escape from the horrible inversion layer we've been having in Cromwell for four weeks with no sun. Short drive down the road. We've got sunshine even though it's just clouded over. And we're at the Roxburgh Trotting Club. They have power points here, heaps of room. Um, over here on the corner of this building, there is also a toilet for NZMCA members. This in there. There's also some new buildings been put up since we're here last, which has extra power points. 
it's five dollars a night per person and five dollars extra if you're on power which is a bargain for central otago you won't find anything cheaper anywhere on power so as you can see there's heaps of room we're the only ones here tonight we've stayed here before and if you are in this area this time of year with the inversion layer you're not going to get any solar power so this is a good option for five dollars a night extra on power there is a lock on the gate with the usual NZMCA code number it's just a combination lock uh, when you put in the combination don't forget to press the button on the bottom of the padlock